what it do YouTube it is your boy KP here coming back at you with episode one of my tips and tricks series this one's gonna be a short one it's gonna be called quick switch so getting right into it what do I mean by quick switching well when you use a piece of utility in counter-strike there's a delayed time in which you can pull out your weapon again and you are allowed to start shooting so, for example, I'm going to throw this nade and switch to my AK, but it's going to be automated, and the animation is going to last a little bit longer than I would like, so I won't be able to shoot right away. For example, so I was holding down mouse 1. That is the exact moment that it let me uh, shoot again. So it's not the quickest thing in the world and might lose you some gunfights sometime. So I'll put up a side-by-side -side on screen of uh, what the difference between normal nade usage and quick switching is and how fast you're able to shoot. Um, but mainly, the gist of it is is that after you throw a piece of utility, you want to instantly press your weapon button again. It can be anything. It could be a pistol, it could be a rifle, or it could be an op. But basically what you want to do is throw your piece of utility and then as soon as you throw it, switch to your weapon and you'll, you'll notice the difference. You'll be able to pull out your weapon just a tad faster and it'll allow you to peak angles more aggressively and also catch people off guard. Um, the, the main thing I pulled this from is pro demos and also personal experience. Um, I wondered for a long time how people would throw flashes and instantly be ready to peak me with them. <clears throat> and I don't see a lot of people at my level or even CS in general using this trick. So um, I figured I'd make a video on it just kind of shedding some light on it. Because I don't think a lot of people know what it is. So anyways, here's here's basically what it does. So here's a normal example of what flashing and peaking angle would look like. So I'm going to flash, switch to my AK, and shoot the bot. As you can see, I was only able to see the bot for like 0.1 of a second before my flash popped and blinded me. Um, obviously, that's not an ideal situation because if you have a post plant on Mirage here in your firebox and you blind yourself when the whole team is running out CT, that's not good, you're probably gonna die, it's just not a good situation to be in. Um, I only had literally a split second to shoot the bot, and uh, that's that's not the greatest. So we wanna improve that by quick switching. So here's how fast it is with quick switching. So I'm gonna throw the flash, and instantly after I throw the flash, switch to my AK. So he he here's what it looks like. So. It's not, again, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but you can see I clearly had like half a second instead of 0.1 of a second to react and shoot the bot. Uh, I'm going to put on screen right now a, an example of a pro player doing this in a game and winning a clutch situation because of quick switching. So in that clip, as you can see, Psalm was stuck second oranges and decided to throw a quick switch flash to knock out this player's CT instead of throwing a normal flash, and here's why. With a normal flash, you only have that much time to shoot before you're blinded by yourself. I was literally holding down the mouse one button, and I only got two shots off before I was full blind by my own flash. However, if you quick switch flash like Psalm did, you have a lot more time to jiggle the angle and get more shots off. So with quick switches, I got about eight shots off on my rifle instead of two, which allows you to jiggle peek this angle, throw your opponent off guard. And as you can see, Psalm took him down and eventually won the clutch situation. So it's not useful in every situation, but in situations like that or where you need to go aggressive and peek something, quick switching is a big help. Um, another example it's just on Inferno, I can smoke CT, quick switch, and instantly pick the coffins and be ready to shoot. Um, anyways guys, that's going to be it for this video. This is my first video on tips and tricks. Really hope you guys enjoyed, and please let me know down in the comments if you do try out quick switching, how it works for you. Um, again, I really don't see a lot of people doing this, and I, I wish more people did it, because it's just one of those little things that can really improve your gameplay. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. If you enjoyed, 
please hit that subscribe button and that like button. Really helps me out. Much appreciated, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.